Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to Antiques Central. My name is Mark Ray and I buy and sell antiques, vintage and collectibles for a living. And I have been doing so for a number of years now. I don't sell on eBay anymore due to the fees, but I do sell on my own e-commerce website called antiquecentral.co.uk and you'll see the name of it somewhere on the bottom of the screen. I can never remember which side it appears on. Anyway. Today I've been out to a local antiques fair and I've been unable to acquire five items to list on my website. It's only a small haul. So without any further ado, to quote that famous YouTube phrase, let's start with the first item. Now, this item will shock and surprise all of my regular viewers and my long-term subscribers because a lot of people actually know me as only buying wood and metal items. But in one of my last couple of videos, I did actually commit to expanding my portfolio and buying, starting to buy ceramics and glass as well. So uh, if nothing else, I am a man of my word and this is what I'm now going to do. But in, in addition to that, I'm also changing the philosophy, if you like, behind my website. In the past, I've always gone out and sourced a scattergun of items. In other words, pretty random. So from decorative, antiques, vintage, metalware, wooden wear. But what I'm going to do now is to focus on the arts movements up until, up until I should say, and including mid-century. So I'm going to be looking at uh, sourcing Art Nouveau, Arts and Crafts, Art Deco, and mid-century stock. So you'll see from this small haul of five items that I've now begun to do this. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how the website develops. So let's have a look at the first item. Now, it's a glass mantle vase, and it's, it's made by Walter, Walter or Volta and Sohn of Germany, and it's classic pink glass art deco. You can see from the shape of it, you can't get any more classic art deco than this shape. Now, they do a range of these, and it's called the Greta range. Now, I don't know, pre-war, because obviously Art Deco is 1929 to 1939, approximately. Although it did come out of the Decorative Arts Exhibition in Paris, I think, in about 1925. But it began to get well established in Europe and North America, I think, um, really during the 1930s, leading up to the Second World War. So I'm wondering whether Greta has anything to do with Greta Garbo, the famous is she German actress. Now, as part of the Greta range, they actually do a uranium glass version of this. So it's the, uh, I think it's the uh, the green, the green one. But this is, I don't think this is uranium. So it's frosted and clear glass, although it is pink. It's not painted pink, it is pink glass. Quality, very good. Walter Hanson of Germany were good manufacturers and if you're ever in doubt or you ever need to do a bit of research on vintage or antique glass, go and have a look at the website 20th Century Glass because if it's not on there, then I don't know where you'll find the information. So I did the bit of research on this and I've been able to identify it. Now, I bought it at an antiques fair, as I said just today, and because I bought it off another dealer, I will tell you what I paid for it. If it was a member of the public, I, I probably wouldn't do that. Although you do know, and I've said countless times now, that my purchase to sale ratio is approximately three times. So I bought this for £15, which was a really good buy. Dealer was happy with that. She made her profit and I was happy with what I paid. This will be listed on the Antique Central website for £45 plus shipping. And I'll probably allow 
ten pounds for shipping because by the time I bubble wrapped it, double boxed it, it'll be quite a large package. So I'll I'll add ten pounds. So it's ten pounds. So it will be listed for fifty-five pounds on the website. And for that fifty-five pounds, including shipping, you will get a beautiful piece of Art Deco pink glass. So there you go. That's the first item. Uh, the second item, it's a pair, it's a pair, matching pair. Very utilitarian. Definitely mid-century again. And it's a pair of very small, Danish-inspired candle stands. So there you can see. Classic Scandinavian style. Simple lines, stainless steel, it's not silver plated, stainless steel. But these were actually made by Tudor Knight of England in the 1960s, 70s. I've tried to do a bit of research to find out a bit more about Tudor Knight, but I can't, can't narrow anything down at the moment. I'm thinking they're probably Sheffield. Sheffield is a city in England that is renowned for the production of stainless steel and silver plates, etc. So, a couple of really attractive, simple, utilitarian candle stands, stainless steel, made by Tudor Knight. Now, I paid about, I think I paid about £8 for these. Again, another dealer who I buy regularly off. Um, probably paid top end, really, trade. So these will be listed for, and I'm not, I'm not going to make much money on these at all, but I think I'll be listing these for £20, including shipping, which will be about £5. So I'll be asking £15 plus £5 shipping for these beautiful mid-century little stainless steel Tudor Knight candle stands. Next up, there's another pair of items. And these are back to my roots a little bit in that they're wooden. And they are two, or a pair of, I should say, arts and crafts candlesticks. Now, believe them to be oak, solid oak. Multifaceted, as you can see. All the way around. Some very nice sign of use on the... On the base. So I believe that the... Of the period, the 1920s. So the early part of the 20th century. The good thing about them is there's the matching pair. I picked these up for £10. Off the same dealer I got the two uh, stainless steel candle stands from. And they just appealed to me. A, a classic arts and crafts. No huge quality. They're quite primitive. Could possibly even be shed built. I can't find anything else similar online. So they could be unique. Although there are other multifaceted arts and crafts items out there. Can't see anything like this. So I'm not sure they came off a production line. As I said, I think I paid about £10 for them. And I will be listing these on the antiquecentral.co.uk website for in the region of £35, including shipping. So let me know what you think in the comments below, what you, what you think about these. Uh, they caught my eye straight away. Pure arts and crafts, handmade. Arts and crafts being a reaction to the uh, production line items that were being churned out towards the end of the 19th century. Uh, in Victoria, in the Victorian period. So the emphasis was hand making stuff. And that's a really good example. So pay £10, probably be asking around £35. You can see signs of where the candle, has, the wax has dripped down. And so obviously been used over the years. And a nice, really, really, really nice, really nice pair of arts and crafts candlesticks. Now, here's a confession I have to make. I did go back to my roots <laughs> when I was out and about just because the price of this item. It couldn't turn it down, to be honest with you. And it is a lovely little copper planter 
It's Indo-Persian, as you can see by the engraving. And they are Indian elephants. So this is etched, it's hand engraved and handmade. It'll be sold as a small planter. It's antique. There are loads of signs of use inside, but no holes. So uh, potentially watertight. I will test it before I list it. But a nice, attractive animal scene, elephants are engraved around it. And it's a nice little dinky size. So you can imagine this with a little plant pot in it. A lovely, you know, displayed on somebody's uh, windowsill or a shelf or even on the end of your desk. So a lovely little copper planter. I paid two pounds for it. So I will be, we'll be listing this for, and I'll, it'll certainly more be more than the three times ratio that I go for, uh, but I'll be listing this in the region of £20, 15 to £20 plus shipping. So it could be 20 to £25. And what I will do is uh, I certainly won't polish it, but I will wash it just to get rid of the... There's like a white residue you can see in the engraving. I will remove that. I might give it a wax and that'll take it out. Black wax. That's a really good little tip there if you're... If you're waxing any metal, use a black wax or a dark wax uh, because it doesn't leave any foxing on it, if you like. Uh, using a clear wax on metal, it will leave kind of a white sheen, which you don't want. Use a dark or very dark or a black wax and um, it brings it up really nicely. Won't be waxed on the inside, just the outside. So there you go, two pound paid for that. Really pleased. As you can imagine, I couldn't resist that. Do you know what? There's one more item that I forgot to show you. I don't think there's a huge age to this, but it fits into the Art Deco style I'm going for. And here it is. And you can see this really with the lighting. It's a ceramic, another ceramic. And. It's a stylized owl, as you can see. Probably That's probably a, the best angle you can see there. There is a mark on the base. It looks like a letter E. I don't know if the camera will pick that up. I'm trying to identify this at the moment, but I haven't had any joy at all. Now, there is some crazing in the glaze, which is normally brought on by age, unless it's deliberately done, but I don't think this was deliberately done. So it may have a little bit of age. Is it vintage? I don't think it's um, from the Art Deco period, just based on the amount of wear on the base, because that painted mark on the base would have worn off by there. And it doesn't seem to be enough wear on the base for it to be pretty well antique, 100 years old, certainly 90 years old. So, but it just, it's got a real strong Art Deco style to it. Pick this up for around about 10 pounds, I think, and I will be listing this for 35 pounds. Probably aiming for the stars a little bit there, but we'll see how we get on. And on all of my new listings on the Antique Central website, there is a make an offer button as well that you can, uh, you can click on, uh, you go to a form, and then you can contact me with your offer, your best offer. So there you go. Now that is the final item. So I hope you enjoyed the video. To support our channel and our community, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. It's all free, as you know. Also hit the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. But as ever, and most important of all, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.